Hey guys, my name is Larko Doom, and welcome to a brand new Megawad on the channel. This is Back to Saturn X Episode 1, and I'm very excited to start this because this is my favourite Megawad on the Unity port. It's also the first Megawad added to this uh, Unity port, so I think maybe a touch of nostalgia um, is brought upon me when playing this because this is my first custom Megawad I've ever played, not including the original Doom games such as Final Doom and uh, Doom 2. This is my first community creator Megawad I've ever played and it blew me away playing it from my uh, on my first time playing. Um, so I cannot wait to uh, do this 100% for you guys. So I hope you guys are just as excited as well. But we can collect some armor bonuses in the start and we can hop outside and just have a look at the detail. The exquisite scenery over here the skybox, we got Saturn over there. We are going back to Saturn. Um, not just yet though. I don't know where we are for the uh, for the time being. But also the MIDI as well. I love the MIDI's in uh, Back to Saturn X. So the, I love the map design, the MIDI's, the gameplay. Yeah, I'm very excited. Just behind the starting base, we can grab some shells in this cave. And then we can go grab the shotgun over here and the health bonuses. And we'll head down into this water river system. Got some cool waterfalls as well. We'll collect the shells and we'll head up the steps. Minimum riffage. <laughs> we'll collect these. Up there is the blue key. We'll grab that later and here's the blue door. Conveniently placed. That's one good thing about this map design. Things are conveniently placed. We'll kill the imp up there, we'll grab the chainsaw and the health bonuses. We'll ignore the Hell Knights that will gonna... And we'll head into this area. Not forgetting to collect any of the bonuses. And we enter into this area. And here we can you can notice the very bright green toxic slime under the bridge over there looking very cool yeah this this uh, mega wad we can collect a radiation suit here as well this uh, this mega wad is a very cool um, mix of aesthetic choices by the way behind the radiation suit is some secret security armor for our first secret out of three yeah it has some very cool aesthetic uh, changes in this you, know, you may notice Barons of Hell will be a very bright pink and neon pink almost. The Cacodemons, which we'll see very shortly, they have light blue blood, nyan, uh, nyan coloured pretty much, or cyan coloured. <laughs> I'm getting my colours mixed up. Um, yeah, cyan rather than the dark blue that are usually coming from a Cacodemon. So um, so yeah, very bright colours, which are nice contrasts to the orange skybox and the, uh, the drab walls of the base. It's very cool. Right here we have the chain gun, but it is a trap. We've got some cacodemons that will wake up and teleport in. Three of them. Oh, well he shot that. Those barrels. Shoot these. Use the chain gun to take care of these. Yeah, have a look at the blood. Very cool. Bright blood. There we go. Very cool. Monster uh, changes. Right here, where this medikit is, we can head into this toxic slime pit. However, um, we don't want to do that just yet. There is a secret. It is for the second secret. But, um. What does the hell knife? Let's get out of there before we get trapped by them. Used a chain gunner maybe to kill him. Or at least wound him a bit. Yeah, this is um that's the second secret, but we don't want to do that yet because it will lead to a trap, which we can sort out right now. We can clear out the trap. Got another hell knight here. Do a bit of damage. Thank you, Chain Gunner. So don't have to use too many shells. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, this is a very large map. There's over 100 kills. So for a start on the map, for a new Mega Wad, it is quite rare for a map to be this big. But that just shows the grand scale of this Mega Wad. But they're not uh, hiding away from going through big design choices, which I think do pay off. Collect these bonuses. This Hell Knight, I like to squeeze past him and try and grab this Berserk pack. And that way we can just punch him out and save some ammo. Very simple. There we go. Here we get a nice view of where we just were. With the water in the steps. And the orange skybox. Now over here, we can go this way. Up the, uh, the steps with the health bonuses. But I don't like going through here just yet. We will come back. This is a this will lead to a familiar area, so don't go down there just yet. That will uh, will head back there later on. Well, it will lead to a new area, but we'll head to that area from another path, which you'll see. So we'll head up this lift, take care of the gunners and imps. With this one waiting at the window. This is where this room below, where the chain gunner was watching would be where you'd teleport from the second secret. So yeah, that's the trap. You've got these chain gunners watching you from the windows. So that's why I like sawing out now, from here. And then right here we can overlook this little gantry area. And that is the third secret, funny enough. It's massive. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. The third secret is like a mini-map in itself, a little bit. Collect the bonuses. And uh, we'll just hop down and kill these imps. Yeah, there were more enemies in that room, but we'll sort them out from the second secret. Now take note of those barrels as well. We'll come back for these. Um, for this wall behind the barrels, and you'll see that very shortly after the second secret. So we'll equip the chain gun, we'll head across the toxic pool into the teleporter. And then we've got two chain gunners guarding a supercharge. We'll kill them, grab that. And we'll head back into the teleporter. And we emerge into this room, as I mentioned. Now it is dangerous because there will be chain gunners on the windows if you did this before clearing them all out. So that's why I like doing that first. And now we can head up the lift safely and can access our third secret. We'll look at the chain gun again and looking through any of these windows you may notice a white switch over there hidden by red pipe and we can shoot that and we'll hop down into the pit and behind the barrels the wall has lowered with a secret teleporter here we have a skirmish but they've all killed each other so we can thankfully just pick up the weapons safely and at the end of the waterfall lies the super shotgun that is what the third secret is for However, this third secret is a very dangerous secret, so some of you may not have, uh, want to do this secret, because this will could result in death, and if you're doing a saveless run, you will have to restart the map. Um, so, I'll, about a huge group of revenants, maybe about 10 revenants, will spawn into the water below. There'll be two arachnotrons and a cluster of cacodemons spawning in. And we want to keep on the move here, we don't want to stand still. There will be a lot of enemies, and we don't have any big weapons other than the Super Shotgun, so this can be quite dangerous. We'll hop down, the enemies will start to teleport in. Around. We can shoot them, if we want. We'll head down here, and we'll kill the Revenant, and hide for a bit. While killing the Imps. Now here the Cacodemons will come first. Kinda want them to uh, maybe try and infight. We don't want to head right though. If we head right, a wall will lower with some enemies, including a mancubus and a um, and a pain elemental. We don't want to go too right anyway. We can stay here for a bit. But yeah, mancubus and pain elemental will come through that wall, so we don't want to go too close to that. For now, we'll just stay here and kill them one by one. I knew that was coming. Once the coast is cleared, we can run past any surrounding enemies. 
run around this revenant, shoot the arachnotrons which can start firing, and we'll head back here. And we can take care of these revenants, or just head back. Oh, we got a nice little infight going on here. Unlucky Kaka Demon, I wanted you to win, but that's alright. Yeah, what you can do is just keep doing uh, revolutions around, basically. It's a tricky fight, especially if you stand still, so... You just want to stay on the move, heading back and forth from this water cave right here to the starting water pool that we, uh, that we landed in. Here we go. I don't know if they're quite in fighting, but we can sneak up on them and finish them off to help the Arachnotron. There we go. I'm going to finish off this uh, Arachnotron right here with the chain gun. Yeah, a tricky fight. Um, it's just a... It's it's to show the, uh, the player that, you know, BTSX is not messing around with a fight like this. I know it's a secret, so you don't have to do it, as I said. But, um, yeah, it's a tricky fight, especially if you stand still. There's a bit of luck involved, really, as well. Whether enemies will block the cave, for example, whether you'll head back down here and the Revenant missiles can one-hit you, you don't know. We only had green security armor, um, so... But yeah, what you, you just want to copy me, basically. Just go to this water cave, they will start piling down into the cave. Maybe you can even head here as the last resort, but as I said, if you get close to this wall, it will lower. There's Cacodemons up there, there's, there's the Pain Elemental and the Mancubus. And yeah, they can, they can teleport. So that's why you don't want to go there. See? If these teleport you, they will block you in. Into this water cave. And that's, you know, that's not good. So leave these for last. And so you don't want to venture too far into this uh, outdoor area. You just want to stay in the water cave and head back and forth. Chain gunners as well. And the Hell Knight. Alright, there we go. We can also kill these Cacodemons. Now, oh, yeah, you can drop down these windows. This is where the chainsaw was, if you remember. And there's two Revenants down there now, but we'll deal with them later. Kill these enemies first. And there is also two enemies that you don't want to forget. Right behind this wall, a chain gunner and an imp. So don't forget them. Alright, so we collect the final bonuses. And uh, we'll head through the door, which has the blue key. That we can go for the blue door. But first... There are these final two revenants. Oh, well, this is going to be a pain, isn't it? Get out of here. Home and missile. And again. That's another one. Oh, nice. I'll take it again. Oh. Yeah, home and missiles, you kind of want them to just orbit around. And not, uh, not for too long. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we grabbed the blue key. They should be the final two enemies, those two revenants, that spawned in, in that chainsaw room. So we can have a look here. We have got all the kills items and, of course, the three secrets. So we are three to exit this map now. Through the blue door, we have exit. Down the lift. Now, if anyone's ever watched my introduction video, which uh, wasn't the greatest video because it was my first video, and um, I didn't really know what to say much, but we'll head down the second lift. If anyone has watched it, this is the familiar area that I did my um, my introduction video in, which is a uh, pretty pretty cool. That was a few months ago now. We've got Gate A over here with the uh, the trams, with the train carts. Reminds me a little bit of Half Life. If anyone's seen that, um, Chapter Eight on a on a rail is it? Is it Chapter Eight? I think. Yeah, if anyone's seen that, it just gives me Half Life vibes a little bit. This train station. I wonder if any of you guys have the same feeling a little bit. Got some the lobby down here with the green uh, green waiting seats. 
box some funny look, look, look at the size of this little storage box right here <laughs> it's pretty funny but yeah we've got information arrives and depart times you are here you can see gate B is now boarding for cluster 1 and that's where we want to go gate B over here this train car is open we'll hop inside and we have the exit keep arms inside vehicle at all times while moving well hopefully doom guy will do that so we can safely head into map 2 via this um, this train car right here but yeah that is map 1 a very strong start to a BTSX in my opinion BTSX contractual obligation a bit of a bit of a mouthful for a, a map name but uh, <laughs> as I said or I don't know if I mentioned this actually Map names will be are different on the Unity port, so different source versions will have different names. So this Unity port has different names, as far as I, as far as I know. So contractual obligation might not be a map one for BCSX that you've heard of. You might have heard it as something else. So I think that's pretty cool, but it can be a little confusing. But yeah, in terms of map one, this is quite a long map one, especially compared to my other wads so far that I've done. They've all been relatively shorter wads. But yeah, this is a very strong map one, in my opinion. It really uh, brings the player into the world, and it's um, the map design is great. So, you know, the, the backtracking, the, the design of the uh, the scenery, the atmosphere, and um, the colours, the aesthetics, the MIDI, everything is top-notch, in my, in my opinion. And I cannot wait to dive further into this Mega Wad. So... Yeah, a very an A plus for a map one in my opinion. As I said, the secret fight is a very tough fight, so you as the player you don't have to do it. Your only reward is the super shotgun, which you'll use in the fight and end up using all the ammo for there. But you do keep the super shotgun there early on. But of course we're doing pistol start, so from my point of view, it's not a fight worth doing really. But it is a fun fight. I'd probably actually recommend doing it just because it's a uh, you know brings a bit of action to the uh, to the map really but other than that yeah a decent a really decent map one we got map two mortar cavalry next time and yes another well designed map you can hear a very cool midi in the background again the midis don't disappoint in this mega wad i can't wait so hopefully if um maybe some of you guys have seen back to Saturn x before um, if you have, then I hope you're interested in watching maybe someone who does uh, a pistol start from uh, with 100% everything. You might be interested. I know there's a few long maps in this, so you know it'll be a different experience than the ones I've been doing recently. But um, yeah, there's not many of those walkthroughs out there with commentary, as far as I know. So hopefully you will enjoy that side of it. If you're completely new, uh, new to Back to Saturn X and you've never seen this Mega Wad ever before, then um, that is just as exciting. I hope you stay for this because um, this Mega Wad is definitely worth watching, in my opinion. So yeah, I can't wait. Um, Revolution is not stopping. I'll be, I'll be doing this and Revolution at the uh, at the same time. Maybe a video uh, per Mega Wad, uh, like so, like they evenly spread. So map 31, if you're looking forward for map 31 of Revolution, don't worry, that'll be coming next. Um, I'm just starting this Mega Wad at a, um, a fairly decent time, I'd say, just for a bit of freshness. You can do two Mega Wads at the same time. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in map 2. So take care.